Hi guys, it's Iris and welcome back to my channel. If you would like to watch me create this leopard Halloween makeup look, keep watching. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. Spoiler alert, I'm going to talk a lot because when do I not talk a lot? Also, if you guys could leave me some comments down below about my lighting. If you don't know about my lighting situation, if this is your first time here, um, or maybe if you've been here before but maybe you've forgotten, um, I don't have a lot of fancy equipment. I don't have any fancy equipment actually. I film on my phone in front of a window when the sun is up. I use natural lighting. That's what I got right now. So I can't really regulate the lighting, but I went back, um, I don't know, a few days ago recently, maybe a week ago, some, something like, something like that. And I was watching some of my, um, some of my older videos where I'm sitting in front of the window doing my makeup and the lighting just, I feel like my face is just completely oversaturated with light. Like I am just blinding whiteness. Uh, so again, there's not really anything I can do about that. I don't I've been looking at lighting kits. I've been saying that for months. I'm looking at lighting kits and I'm going to buy some, but I still haven't done it because I'll be broke. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that, that's what's going on there. So I am like very self-conscious now about the lighting that I'm using, but it's what I've got. So we're just going to have to deal with it for right now. But let me know down below. Does it bother you guys? Does the lighting bother you guys? Or is it okay? I mean, I'm sure if you're still here and you're watching, you understand my situation. I don't have the money at the moment to buy lighting kits, but, you know, this is what we got to work with. Anyway, there we go, rambling already. Uh, so, what are we doing today? We are doing another Halloween makeup look that was completely inspired by the top I'm wearing today. Um, I would show you the rest of it. Actually, I'm going to try. I hate showing my full body on videos because... The camera adds like, not even 10 extra pounds on me, like the camera adds, adds like 30 extra pounds. It probably doesn't. That's probably what I actually look like. But anyway, let me sh I'll show you the rest of what this shirt looks like. It's actually got a leopard on it and it's all sparkly and bedazzled and I love it. And I am aware that this is probably like a granny type shirt, but um, I like it. It's one of my favorites. I love this top and I don't wear it very often anymore because I am aware that it kind of looks like a tacky grandma, but I'm going to be a tacky grandma one day, so I might as well get a jump start. Uh, so yeah, I was completely inspired this morning by this top. Starting already. Um, but yeah, because I needed to get up. Let me start that thought back over. I needed to film my final Halloween makeup look, which I still have not done, um, which I'm hoping to get done today or tomorrow. Otherwise, it's going to be late. Uh, it'll get posted on Saturday instead of Friday when it's supposed to get posted. But hey, I have backup, so I'll still have one on Friday. Getting off on a tangent. Um, I need to film that video, but I got up this morning and got dressed and I said, ooh, leopard. That's good. Let's try it. So this is like completely unrehearsed. Like I got a wild hair up my booty this morning and decided I needed to try to attempt leopard makeup. So we're gonna do that today. Um, I do, as per usual, I put a uh, lock on my tablet and my phone and I can never remember the code for my tablet. Anyway, what was I going to say? I don't even remember now. Oh, I have pulled up um, a reference picture just because there are some parts of it that I'm not real confident with. But for the most part, like the leopard print pattern, I'm pretty comfortable with. I've done it on my nails before freehand, so I feel like kind of okay with that. But like the nose area and the eye area kind of freaks me out a little bit. So I do have uh, a picture pulled up for reference, I would show it to you, but my tablet is plugged in because my husband unplugged it this morning while it was charging. Um, 
So yeah, five minutes in, we haven't done anything. Let's fix that. So I don't know which one of my foundations I want to use for this. I feel like, you know what? Let's use the Kat Von D today because I know it's going to be super cakey, but I feel like I need a full coverage to get rid of any redness or no discoloration that I have on my face. And I do have spots where I have discoloration, like major discoloration. Um, See, so yeah, I feel like maybe a good full coverage makeup. Wow. Seems runny. That's weird. Okay. Don't need too much of it though. I'm not going to do any more. But yeah, I feel like I need something a little bit more full coverage for this. So I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the shade uh, Light 44. I actually got matched in Sephora, so that's the one that they gave me. So I did actually, I have already primed my face too. I did that this morning when I got up. I um, rinsed my face real good, get any excess oil off of it. And I used my Alouette Visible Aid, which is not really a primer, not really a moisturizer, but I'm using it because I'm noticing that it is really calming down the, the redness on my face. I'm usually like really, really red through here. And I'm still a little bit pink today, but it's much calmer. Than it usually is so i've been using that it's kind of like primer moisturizer for right now and i've got this is the uh, equate beauty sponge that i picked up at walmart a couple of weeks ago and you guys i really like it i really really like it so if you are like me and you prefer not to buy like high-end uh, makeup stuff you prefer to save your money Highly recommend this Equate Beauty Sponge. It was like $1.94, you guys. And I promise you, this is like one of the best beauty sponges I have ever used. I've never used an actual beauty blender before, so I don't know, you know, really how to compare it to that. But like I've used, um, I tried one from the Dollar Tree, the Sassy and Chic ones. I hated it. Uh, it was way too dense and it smelled like old rubber. Um... What else have I tried? I've tried the one from Ulta. I like those. They're good. Um, they're really squishy, so I don't mind them. Um, what else did I use? Oh, I've tried the Real Techniques. They're good, but they fall apart like really, really quickly. And I feel like if I am paying, I mean, I feel like I use, I, I picked that up because Real Techniques is supposed to be a really good brand, um, a really good affordable brand. And I don't know. I feel like the, the quality of it, even though as far as how well it worked, that was great. I feel like the quality of the actual product was not great because like even when my nails were not very long, they had a little bit of length to them. Um, my nails were poking right through them and they just completely tore up. So I don't know. I liked them, but I feel like they need to get better on the quality of that sponge. I'm gonna go see if I can get under here. But yeah, this is the best one that I have found so far. I'm probably going to talk the entire time through this video because like I said, I feel like I've not, I don't know if I've said that, you know, I do like 50 intros before I get something that I like. Um, yeah, I feel like I haven't been on camera in for freaking ever. I know I probably have, but I feel like I haven't. Okay, so now I don't have a really good light uh, concealer, and I probably don't really need to use a concealer, but I am going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes, even though I probably shouldn't, but just out of habit, I guess. See, it's just, it's not... This is, by the way, this is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus in the shade Light Ivory. Um, it's a bit too yellow tone to me for them to actually call this a Light Ivory. I feel like a Light Ivory would be um, a little bit more white. And this one, I don't, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's light enough. And I'm using um, 
this blending sponge is not damp. This is completely dry. And this is one of the Ulta ones. I have um, another set of small ones that I need to try out that I haven't broken open yet because I want to wait until I've used this these up. Even though I know I need to go ahead and when I get stuff, I need to go ahead and review them. But I just, I get so overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed. I have all this stuff in front of me and then I don't know what to pick up. Uh, so I have to put things away, pull things out that I want to use, and then I'll forget about the stuff that I put away. It's a vicious cycle. The life of a beauty YouTuber. I feel like... I've got a lot of this on, but I feel like I don't really have enough coverage on it. It's not going to matter because I'm going to use a bronzer here in a second. Okay, so I've got that down. No, 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 no. Turn my picture. Maybe I can show it to you now. This is the one that I'm using. Maybe you can see it without that glare on there. It's really nice. and just I'm not going to look exactly like that, but I just, I'm using that as like more like a point of reference. So I guess I'm about to bronze the heck out of my skin. And I recently purchased this uh, Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Makeup Stick. This is the contour stick in the shade Oaks on You. This is the lightest contour shade that they have. Uh, it still seems kind of dark to me. It does blend out fairly well. But I feel like I'm going to want a good bit of color. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ham on this, you guys, and and pray that it turns out the way that I want it to. Because like I said, I've not I've not uh, rehearsed this in the slightest. And then we want to go through here. And we want to go back through there. Okay. Let's pray this works. Okay, do, should I, yeah. I'm going to go in with this really bad stipple brush. Just to try to get this worked in a little bit. And then I'll go back in with my uh, with my blending sponge. Now I feel like I'm probably not going to talk that much because I'm trying to Get this going. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got that started, I feel like maybe I can blend a little bit. see. Yeah. I, think I might need a little bit of that further down on the sides. So just a little bit there. Okay, let me come through these brows real quick. I don't think I'm going to do my brows yet, but I'm going to go ahead and comb through them. Just 
because I feel like I need to. Just to get any of that excess makeup out of them that's in there right now. Because I feel like I just did a lot to my face. I know if you didn't know what this video was, you would think that I was a crazy person right now because that's kind of how I look. Okay, do I need any on my chin area? I don't think I do. I think it's mostly, I think most of the color is going to be like in this top region of my face. So I think I might be okay there. All right, so now we're going to go in and do our... Uh, spots or leopard spots. So for that, I feel like maybe I need to do my eyes first. I think I will. I think I'm going to go in and do my eyes really quick. Um, and for that, I think I'm just going to use this uh, Beauty Benefits. I feel like this is kind of leopardish, don't you? Kind of salty leopard. Salty? Salty? Sultry <laughs> leopard. I might have something better in here that I could do. Actually, you know what? We're going to go with this one. This is another beauty benefits that I got from Dollar Tree a few months ago. Um, I don't think they have it anymore, but I think this one's going to be better. So we'll go with this. I think I'm going to do the uh, dark shade here. We're just going to go ham and do it all over. You know what? I need a different brush than this. I feel like this is going to get everywhere. So um, I'm supposed to be <clears throat> on these uh, makeup videos, on these Halloween makeup videos. I was supposed to have been helping out a friend of mine who is on YouTube as December Fox. Uh, but she is one of my friends from college. We were in a theater program at the University of Southern Mississippi together. And you guys, she is an amazing artist. She, um, she did this, this makeup series called 13 Weeks of Halloween. And this week was the last week for it. Um, but you guys, the stuff that she's done is freaking amazing. My favorite one is her Cruella de Vil. I've got her, if you go to my playlist, in the playlist that is called YouTuber Shoutouts, she's in there and some of her videos are in there, but you guys go check her out. I, um, I haven't really been doing a whole lot from the actual YouTube page as far as my videos go. Um, I've really just been doing most of my edits from right on my tablet. I haven't really been going into YouTube so that I can make like my end cards and any of that kind of stuff, which is where I would usually leak that. I will try on this video to do that, um, but no promises. But you guys, the stuff that she has done is freaking amazing. She did um, like a white tiger, she, which is really, really awesome. She did She's done one with the throat ripped out. Like, she's done some really gory stuff, and she's done just, like, some really cool stuff. She did, but like I said, my favorite one that she's done was Cruella de Vil. Because it's not your typical Cruella de Vil. I'm not going to ruin it. You guys just go check it out. Um, but it is my freaking favorite. And show her some love. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button on her videos because um, I think she's amazing. And I think she could she could really really be something on the YouTubes. So yeah, got that one. I think I'm going to go in with this goldish color. I don't think I can really do much with it. I think I'm going to try to put it in this corner and blend those. Okay, let's go above these brows here. 
So are there any YouTubers, excuse me, that you guys have been watching for like their makeup looks, their Halloween makeup looks? I, uh, I recently, because of Instagram, I follow Raw Beauty Christy on Instagram, and I recently started following her on YouTube. Um, I subscribed to her channel here, and you guys, she has done some really crazy looks for Halloween. Like, she did uh, the Chatterer from Hellraiser, and it was freaking amazeballs, you guys. I am not kidding. That girl has got some freaking talent. And, like, she works with, like, liquid latex and that sort of, the liquid latex and that sort of stuff. I don't, um, I don't mess with the liquid latex. I don't have any. I don't know how to use it anyway. I didn't get that far into makeup when I was in, uh, when I was in college. I took, like, an intro makeup class and that was it. But, uh, yeah, she... <laughs> She's done some amazing stuff. Okay, I'm going to try, I don't know you guys, I feel like this is going to, I did it again. I went the wrong way on my code on my tablet. Okay, I feel like this is going to be an epic fail, but I'm going to try to do this first with a pencil. I don't know, maybe I won't. This one is kind of crappy. This is, okay, I got this one in... Uh, in an Ipsy bag. This is the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. I hate this pencil. I absolutely hate it. I mean, it is smooth, but when I put it on my eyes, it is too smooth, and it goes freaking everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to just attempt to just do this. So with these leopard spots, you don't want to connect the lines, like you don't want to do a full circle. You want to leave some breaks in there. So that's what I'm doing with that. And we'll keep following this contour line around with those circles. You don't want to go all the way down your nose because you're going to do um, something different when you get to your nose area. So just like, I actually even went too far. I shouldn't have gone down this this far. Right about here is probably where you want to stop it. But I've already gone, so I'm just going to deal with it.
now I've gotten quiet <laughs> and I'm getting self-conscious like wait a minute you stopped talking you said you were gonna keep talking the whole time and you're not talking Probably okay. Right here. Okay, so now what I have to figure out is how I want to fill those in. I think I'm going to go back with that contour stick. Because you saw how bright it was when I first put it on my face. I think that's what I'm going to go in and fill those in with. So I need... I'm going to go... I usually use this brush for my lips. But it's clean now. I used it for um, some red lipstick so that I could get a good line. But it's clean now. So I'm just going to go in, I think, with this same contour stick that I used to contour the rest of my face. And see how much darker I can get these spots. in the middle of them. It's going pretty good. Pretty dark. I know I asked you guys about what other um, YouTubers you maybe have been watching as far as like Halloween makeup looks. What are you going to do for Halloween? We, oh my gosh, we went through some stuff for Halloween costumes this year. So I had already decided that um, our youngest was going to be a pirate because he is not quite at the age yet where he is up to picking his own costumes. Mommy still does that, and because he is obsessed with pirates right now, I decided he's going to be a pirate. Um, and because I am that mo that mom, and uh, <laughs> I have decided that we are going to do matching costumes, he and I are going to do matching costumes until it's just way too embarrassing for him. And I'll probably even do it after that. <laughs> but since he's going to be a pirate, I decided I would be a mermaid. Um, so that was already decided. Well, then my husband got the night off for Halloween, so he's going to come with us. We're going to go trick-or-treating, um, and we're going to pick up, um, my husband's son, my stepson. We're going to go pick him up and take him out with us, so we had to go get him a costume. So now we've got daddy and older brother to worry about as far as costumes go. Well, they couldn't decide on anything. It took us two days to figure out costumes. My husband still does not have one. He just says, I'm just not going to do it, which I am not too pleased with. I feel like, you know, he should join in the fun, don't you think? I think that he should, he should dress up with us and go have fun. He's decided he's just going to come with, but the oldest, um, our oldest, he has decided, he, he found a couple of them, a couple of costumes that he really liked, but uh, they were too freaking expensive, and we're on a budget. Uh, so he picked out a few that he really liked that were like 40 some odd dollars, and I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Um, cause we gotta buy like three costumes now. 
so we're going to have to find something else. He eventually settled on a, uh, what do we pay, like $15 for this costume? $10, $15 for it? It's just a cloak, that's all it is. But it's got a mask over it, not, not even an actual mask, just like this mesh covering, so like there's no face. And it's, um, forget what it's called, it's some kind of just like a ghoul. But, so he's got that. The oldest, um, the youngest one has a pirate costume, and I'm going to be a mermaid, and my husband is just going to be my husband. Isn't that exciting? So I'm not sure if this is really coming off as leopard right now. What do you think so far? I'm having a hard time seeing this side of my face too. This is the side of my face that I always have problems with. Like when I'm doing my contour or my blush, this side always looks completely different from this side. I guess maybe because I'm right handed, so I can do this. This side, I don't know, I can't ever see it. Like, I can't see what I'm doing over here. Do I make these weird faces like this? Like that's going to stretch my face over? I <laughs> 31 minutes you guys have watched so far of just me painting my face. How do you feel about that? If you've made it this far, kudos to you. We're just about done with this part, and then I think we're actually really just about done with the whole thing. I'm wondering, though, if I should add some more spots, and I don't think I should. I think I should maybe... Let's go ahead and focus on this uh, nose area, and then we'll see what maybe we can add. So, so the tip of our nose right here is going to be black. I knew I'd find a use for this eventually. I'm glad I don't use it because it's like all up in my nose right now. <laughs> Now I'm going to need to take and blend that up a little bit. What is the best brush I have to do that with? I think maybe... I don't really know. Should I go up a little bit more? I think I, I am going to go up a little bit more.
Okay, and now I'll find a black eyeshadow, and that is what I will do to blend that. Oh, I think I have, I'm sure in one of these e.l.f. palettes I've got a good black that I can go over them. I should have had this figured out before that, but I didn't think I was going to use an eyeshadow. But now I'm saying I probably am going to need to that. Maybe like this one. This one's good. So from really any black eyeshadow is probably going to do you fine, but I'm going to use this one out of this uh, Holy Smoke palette from e.l.f. And with that, I'm going to take one of these fluffy brushes like this. And I'm going to set over this. Set over this uh, eyeliner. And then I can also get around these sides. a little bit messy but I think it's okay all right and then we'll go in and do our you know what I need to cover over my lips a little bit better so let's take a little bit of this a little bit of that Kat Bundy locket foundation white out my lips with that and then I can do So I drew this all the way through my lip there. I smeared it. That's okay. I think it's still okay. okay. Now what do I need to do? I need to go in and make these little whisker dots. Now, for the really hard part, now I have to go in and do my liner, my eyeliner, which in hindsight I should have done before I did everything else. But you know me. Uh oh. Cameo appearance. Pardon me, one second. I'm back. You really didn't miss much. I finished up doing. 
uh, my eyeliner, all I did was just kind of, the wings do not match at all, but I feel like I'm okay with that. Uh, so I finished that up. Now I'm going to go in to my under eye area. That same black eyeshadow that I used around my nose area, I'm going to use that on my under area. <laughs> my under area. <laughs> my, um, my lower lash line. Because for me, I feel like that's the best way to get this uh, inner corner thing going. Because I am just not good at that with liquid liner. I love when people do that. When they take their liquid liner and they make that, um, like that inner wing is what I call it. I love that. I cannot do it to save my life. I cannot freaking do it. I think we're done. What do you guys think? So finished product. Um, I don't know if I would even do any more costuming with this. I've already got my leopard print shirt, so I think I'm, I would just be done with it. Um, I do feel like around my nose area that maybe could be cleaned up a little bit. Um, but for the most part, I think it I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm also not real, real happy with... Uh, like this, this mouth area, I wonder. That does it a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. So I just took just right on the inside of my lip just made a little line and then just blotted that together there i feel like that's a lot better so what do you think i think it turned out great um especially for not having ever done this before for this actually being my very first attempt i feel like it turned out pretty good let me know down below what you think uh and i will see you guys next time bye